Good day, man. Hey, we're gonna take a part of. Yeah, I'll start over. Um, long day today, but I waited, and we're gonna take apart a S bar that I put on a machine, a pull skitter, a couple, three, four, five years ago. I don't remember because that's I'm at that age. I guess I don't have to. Uh, anyways, the owner called me last week and I went had my guy go over and take the box right off so I don't have to work outside it's only a mile away and it was giving them an F30 code and an F32 which means uh, what does that mean the blower motor overload or it's plugged or something like that so we're gonna take it apart and clean it um, we've got these kits that we can put in so we can we've got all the spare parts so I can take it apart replace everything as I need it instead of trying to put it back together with the old o-rings and whatnot so we're going to go in and look at it and see what uh, see what's in it then I'm going to take you along s spar teardown I guess you'll call it it's a d5 um, yeah I'll open it up and bring you right back maybe we can do this together Pretty slick setup, it's in the box, you know, I've told you this before, it's a uh, easy kind of nicely engineered product, I guess, if you will, yeah, right here is where the exhaust is, here's the intake, and if I have to guess to what's going on with this guy is, I would say there's something involved like mice, perhaps, or just dirt. It's just filthy and it can't breathe. We'll see. I will proceed to take this puppy apart. And we will go from there. I can always delete shit, right? Stuff, stuff, Mike. Stuff. Basically, this one screw holds it on. Other than these big clamps, this one bolt holds it in the mount. And I need pliers or two. Get the clamp goes out of the way. Stuff. It's just me making noise. There we go. That's out of our way. I'm going to give her a little blowing off here. Be right back. I like to. You'll see in a second here. I got these woodworking vices, and uh, they work really good for this. I don't have to worry about damaging it. Yeah, just give her a light pinch. It's got wood in there, obviously. Woodworking vice. Let me adjust the old camera. And. Torx. Torx screws. We'll see what's going on in here. This covers the fuel pump assembly, the fuel inlet. You gotta be careful with these because there's several different lengths of. Uh, screws they use and they all have their specific location okay so that's the fuel metering pump 
the electrics going to it. And this, this, get with you in a second. is the actual circulating pump. Takes the water into the engine and back out. Inlet, outlet. I like working on these things for some reason. And they're held in just with a couple of snaps in there with some O-rings. And you gotta turn it over and release this plug. See here, the O-ring stayed into the housing. I'll just put it back on here for safekeeping for now. Get that out of the way. A couple more screws. Wires. Okay, and I need the nippers, otherwise known as the side cutters. Just a mini one, though. All it uses is a little uh, zip tie to hold the uh, fuel line on. Okay. Now, whoops, yeah, I had to get that out of the way to get this last screw out. All right, now we just feed those through. So according to the F code on the old 70 timer. It said this is the fan motor. Ooh. Yeah. Either there's something in there or it is gone. That's kind of surprising. I've never seen one go. This is where there would be garbage in it. So let us proceed. Not very talkative tonight. Um, okay, and here's the back, basically the brain box. This is what tells everything what to do. You gotta be careful with these plugs. potted computer board. And that is the motor. And boy we gotta go in there a little further.
It doesn't seem too happy. Almost seems like there's some crumblies underneath it. And there are, I can see it. Now I'm going to show you, because I think that's exactly what it is. Okay, so I'm going to end up getting this guy a new motor. Let me back this up a little bit. If you watch as I rotate it, the center pin, you see the movement. It's no longer centered. The bearings or whatever is underneath there is out. There we go. There's way too much run out on that little motor. And right there it gets stuck. So that's a first for me. I'll have to get him a motor. This little guy right here, electric motor with this assembly, the fan assembly, and I'll have to get it and replace it. That should just be free as a bird. Okay, I'll bring you back when we put this bugger back together. Okay, I figured it out, found out what the problem is. If you can see it, that shaft is no longer in the center of that motor. That means this end bearing is out and actually I can't even spin it. Sort of, but you can... It's all chowdered in there. There's no bearing left in the end. That should not move. It should be like this end, nice and tight. So that that bearing crapped out in there. So I'm gonna have to get a new one. And this little brain box that I showed you before, this uh, actually detected that too much draw, too high of an amp draw, and it actually kicks it out. And so there I'm at. That's what I've got. So basically it goes right here, took the fan off, little impeller, and pulled it out. So that's what I'll be after. That one I won't have laying around, so I'll have to get that for the guy and uh, we'll come back, alright? So i got to bring you back and tell you where we're at with that uh, little S-bar preheater. Um, I got a new part, put it in, didn't film it, I was in a hurry, but it's in the machine working. So I just thought I'd bring that back, bring it, bring you up to speed. It, that little fan motor I showed you earlier in the video was just junk. So we're back to, it's back to work, it's out there. Temperatures have warmed up a little bit, but I tell you, there's hard, it's hard to find parts for those things because they're this year being so cold. There's a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of them going to heck. So, yeah, just wanted to bring you up to speed with that. I got my three helpers out in the shop today too. See you, Bob. There's one shop dog. She's helping me out today. And there's Leroy and Tony. And if you can figure out what three those three names, what show they come from, put it in the comments and I'll give you a gold star. My wife named all three of them, Ziva, Tony, and Leroy. Some of you will know. Put it in the comments. Have a good day. Alright, thanks.